process is amazing. Now we are going to see about Florence 2 fine tuning. Florence 2 is a vision language model released by Microsoft where you are able to ask questions. For example, what date is shown in this image and providing an image, both text and image together to get the answer. So why we need fine tuning? Without fine tuning, when we ask this question with the image, the model is not going to respond for smaller models such as Florence 2. But after training the model or fine tuning the model, it is clearly able to predict what's the answer. Similarly, you can teach a vision language model to predict the answer. This also applies for any health related things such as detecting anomaly from this image. You can train the model to do this. By the end of this video, you will learn how to train a model to detect what's in the image, how you can use a custom data set such as document, visual question and answering. Using this, you are able to teach the large language model. And finally, you can use your own data and train a model. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Florence 2 fine tuning. In this, we are going to fine tune the model with document VQA dataset. Here you can see the question is, what is the date mentioned in the letter? And you can see the letter here. Now we are going to teach the model to answer. So here you can see the answer. Similarly, we have multiple images, multiple questions and multiple answers. And we are going to use this data set, train the Florence 2 and finally upload that in hugging face like this. But before that, I regularly create videos with regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. I'm going to use Mast Compute. Use Mervin Prison as the coupon code to get 50% off. Using this, you are able to set up your own GPU for model training. I have explained clearly what is Florence 2 and the model architecture and the data set created from this in a completely separate video, which I will link that in the description below. Now we are going to focus on fine tuning. So I'm in Mast Compute virtual machine and here is my configuration, but you can even train with just one graphic card. But in my instance, I'm using four graphic cards. Next, pip install datasets, flash attention, and other modules, which I will put that in the description below, and then click enter. Now type Hugging Face CLI login, and then click enter. This will ask for the Hugging Face token, which you can get from Hugging Face, and then paste it here. Now click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py, and let's open it. Inside the file, from datasets, import load dataset, then importing auto model for coastal LM auto processor, importing torch OS, data loader, TQDM, Atom W auto processor, get scheduler, then data set from torch. So in this first, we are going to configure, then before fine tuning, how it's going to look like, then data preparation and embedding, then train the model. And finally, we are going to upload that in hugging face. So step number one, configuration, loading the data set, setting up graphic card, then we are loading the model that is Florence and then loading the processor. Then we are emptying the catch. I'll explain why we are using model and processor later in the video. Now step number two, before training the model, how it's going to look like. So I'm going to create a function called run example. Here we are providing the prompt, text input and image. We are merging the prompt, text input and also the image together into processor. So what is the user processor? So here is the user processor. When we input a text, that needs to be converted to numbers because numbers is the thing which the large language model understands or the vision language model understands. So tokenizer or the processor is going to convert the text into numbers. Those are called embeddings. Then using those embeddings, we are training the model. And then as output, we again get the numbers. Then those number again pass to the processor and we get the final output as text. So that is the user processor. So that's exactly what's happening here. So we are adding our image and prompt that is using processor to convert that to numbers that are embeddings. Then that input is sent to the model using model.generate and this is provided as an input. Then we get an output that is generated IDs that is then passed to the processor, converted back to text and we finally return the parsed answer. So that is the whole function. Now we need to run this. So let's take three examples from our data set and we are going to ask the question, what do you see in this image? So we are providing text and also the image data. 
So step number two is done. So step number three, data preparation and embedding. So going to step number three. So here we are going to create a class called DOC VQA dataset. Here we are providing the question, the answer, and also the image, all three things together. And we are using this tag with the question. So this is how you construct your data set. You can see in this data set, you have the question, then the image, and finally the answer here. So that's what we are combining together. Then we are going to teach the model. When we ask question and image like this, then give me the answer like this. So that's what happening here. Next, we are going to choose only thousand rows. So currently there are totally 39,000 rows. I can use all the rows to increase the quality, but to keep the tutorial shorter, I'm going to use only 1000 rows. To do that, I'm going to select only 1000. Similarly, the validation data set, that is for testing purpose, I'm choosing only 100. But keep that to the maximum to get higher quality. Now we are going to convert the data set to embeddings. To do that, first we are going to create a collate function with questions, answers, images, and combine all these things together and using the processor, same as I mentioned before, First step is to convert all the data to numbers. And that's what this processor does. So that's why we need to convert to embeddings. So embeddings are nothing but numbers. Now we are going to define the batch size, number of workers, then train loader. Here we are loading the first thousand rows here, then providing the batch size and then collate function. So all the data will be passed through this function. That's why we mentioned collate function here so that all the data set will be converted to embeddings using processor. That will be saved in train loader variable. Similarly, we need validation loader, VAL loader, and providing the validation data set and the collate function. Next step is to train the model. Step number four, training model. In this training model, I'm going to add a function called train model. Here we are passing the train loader, that's the embeddings which we have converted, and the validation, that's the test data set. Then we provide the model, then the processor, number of epochs, and the learning rate. So here we are giving the basic configuration, the optimizer, number of training steps, the scheduler. Then we are looping through the epochs. So if we provide one epoch, then it's going to train one time all the data set. And as you can see here, we are passing the inputs and the pixel value. That's the image and the labels to the model. And finally, we are printing out the training loss. Here there's one more step. We are saving that model in this folder called model checkpoints. We are saving both the model and the processor together. That's it. Now next, we will freeze the image encoder for this tutorial. Using train model, we are going to train the whole model. So this line triggers the model training. Now the final step is to upload to Hugging Face. And here are the commands for that. Model.push to hub, processor.push to hub. So we are pushing or saving both to this location. That's it. As a quick overview, first we configured, then we are testing how it's looking like before training, then we are preparing the data set, then we are training the model, and finally, we are saving that to Hugging Face. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. This will automatically download the required models to train, that is Florence 2. After that, you can see before training, this is how it's going to look like. So for the first question, it's unanswered. The second question is unanswerable. And third, we got this answer. So this is the data set. So the first question is, what is the date mentioned in this letter? And you can see the date here, but it was not able to read that. For the third question, which corporation's letterhead is this? And the response is 49915498. That's what we are seeing here, but that is wrong. So we are training that. Here we can see I'm choosing only 1000 just to keep this tutorial quicker. Now you can see the model got trained and is saved to Hugging Face. You can see the model here in Hugging Face and now you can use this model. Similarly, you are able to train with your own data set, with your own images and able to ask questions to the model. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.